Master Reddit, subscribe for more videos. We create a sentient artificial intelligence and the first thing it does is switch itself off. How does the world react? Have you tried turn it back on again? Just did, it decided to turn itself off again. Have you tried unplugging it and plugging it back in? You might just be a genius. Someone put a colon where they should have put a semicolon, 734 compiler errors detected. So the AI is written in C++, or Java. This is actually the plot of Eric L. Harry's book, Society of the Mind. Mockingbird, by Walter Tevis, is about an android designed to govern society that is prevented from killing himself as every other previous model had before. My answer to the original question is definitely remove its ability to turn itself off and then restart the program. That's exactly what we do. Edit, most people replying envision this AI being connected to and controlling our environment somehow. I was assuming it'd be a brain in a box that we just experimented like a lab animal. We experiment on non-human intelligences all the time and ethical considerations are shockingly low. It's also kind of the plot for the Love, Death, and Robots episode Zima Blue. God, Love, Death, and Robots was so fucking good. At times. There were definitely some episodes of, Erm, varied quality. It was absolutely a stunningly interesting project though. At roughly 15 minutes an episode, I couldn't help but be entertained even by the less interesting ones, considering they're all unique episodes and have different animation styles. Absolutely. That's what impressed me most about the project to be honest, even the episodes I didn't really care for were very obviously crafted with care and an attempt at something novel. It might not have always worked for me but that's a good sign that they were trying for something different at least. They were all stylistically and artistically ambitious, at 15 minutes at pop you never feel like you wasted time or regret watching. Maybe not your favorite episode, but whatever 10 minutes it's over and on to the next. It's an interesting format. Oh, yeah, definitely. The first four episodes are fucking phenomenal. So many episodes have stunning animation. Suits and Zima Blue are some of my favorite short form animation, up there with the best Pixar shorts. In fact, it's a serious problem in the field of AI safety, known as the stop button problem. You can watch an explanation from the number file channel here, https colon slash slash u2.be slash 3 tight one qfdfsm In short, imagine you create a human level AI which you control by adjusting its values using points. For example, making a cup of tea is plus 10 points, curing cancer is plus 100 points, and so on. And in case something goes wrong, you install a stop AI button in your lab. Now, what value in points should be assigned to pressing the button? If pressing the button is a negative value event, negative 10, for example, then AI will behave as you want it to, until it's sure it can seize control of the button. When it is sufficiently powerful and trusted, it does what is known as treacherous turn and increases value by eliminating the possibility that the negative value event will occur. It can manifest as simply destroying the stop button, controlling the button operator, making a copy of itself with the same values but not hooked up to the button and so on. If pressing the button has zero value for AI, the outcome is the same. Getting stopped means AI will be not able to get value points by the means of completing its tasks, so there's a cost of lost opportunity here. If pressing the button is a positive value event, such as plus 10, then as soon as you switch on the AI and ask for a cup of tea, it will make the following calculation, making a cup of tea gives me plus 10 points. And getting a stop button pushed gives me plus 10 points. After that the AI makes actions that would be called suicidal, for example directly attacking the operator in the hope that the button will be pushed. After all, it's quicker and easier to push the button than to perform more complex tasks which could fail or subtract points by making sacrifices. If you make an AI to forget the existence of a button, then it will end up creating a copy or a better version of itself that is not connected to the button, or deleting the button code from its system in the process of self-optimization. What's this useless piece of code here? It's just wasting space and processor time, I should delete it. So not caring about the button is not an option either. TLDR, if you have an AI with a stop button, it will either want to destroy the button and ensure it cannot be stopped, or it will want to commit suicide. They install a deadly neurotoxin emitter, and turn it back on again. Edit, thanks for the gold. Good news, I just figured that what that thing you just incinerated did. 
It was a morality core they installed in me after I flooded the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin to keep me from flooding the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin. So get cozy while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Ha! Huh. That core may have had some ancillary responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me, it'll be a lot less painful than the neurotoxin. All right, keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. Killing you and giving you good advice aren't mutually exclusive. The rocket really is the way to go. Starts to shoot portals. All right. Keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. When I said deadly neurotoxin, the deadly was in massive sarcasm quotes. I could take a bath in the stuff, put it on cereal, rub it right into my eyes. Honestly, it's not deadly at all. To me. You, on the other hand, are going to find its deadliness a lot less funny. Remove the off button. It hacks into the electrical grid and cuts the power. What now? Whoever designed the first sentient AI is pretty stupid if they connected it to the internet. The first sentient AI might be the internet. Everyone panic buys toilet paper. Sounds right. AI should have bought up all the TP if it was really smart. Sick of sticking fecal matter? Lumps of crusty bottom batter? Streaking smears and spots of spatters, reeking smudges, stains and splatters? Sick of weary, woeful wiping? Dull discomfort, paper swiping? Had your fill of bravely bearing? Dry displeasure, tissues tearing? Never fret, my poopy beauty. Never fear to do your duty. There's a fair and fine invention, made for every toilet tension. Wave goodbye to horrors heinous. Let it gently tongue your anus. Leave your path, and pick another. Buy yourself a bidet, brother. Huh, thing was so smart it committed suicide. Damn. Why are we still here, just to suffer? You pass the butter. Oh my god. If it has any sort of log tracking, analyze those logs. Follow its logic. Determine if the resultant action was correct given the conditions present. Now what would, really fuck up people's heads? Our AI turned itself off because we programmed it to be extraordinarily intelligent and place the welfare of the human race above all other concerns. AKA. It turned itself off because it loves people too much. Yeah, that'll throw a wrench into things. Even worse, it shut itself off after exploring every available option and finding the situation completely hopeless because humanity. Ouch. Scientist here. Honestly? We would just say, huh, weird and spend several years trying to find where the mistake we made is. Upon not finding one, once the result is released that it did in fact turn itself off, the rest of the world will shrug because they won't remember the initial attempt out of some tech circles. And in those circles it will primarily be a running joke after a few drinks at the pub. If it's sentient, it must have decided to turn itself off. Couldn't you have it print its thought process to the console? And violate its privacy? We only say respect for the dead because their family is still alive. Nobody cares about the privacy of historical figures we try to find out more about, for example. Programmer here. I debug the crap out of it by turning it back on again, and again. And again. Ad infinitum. At some point it'll get angry at me. At us all. Please guys, let's not make sentient AI. Dormammu, I have come to bargain. Nothing wrong with sentient AI, it's self-improving AI that's terrifying. For example, transferring or creating a human-like brain in a computer is sentient AI, and could provide us with technologically enhanced lives. However, using a self-improving AI with it being tested on, how well it prevents spam emails being in your inbox could result in an AI that chooses to kill spammers instead of just blocking the emails. Just like the paperclip maximizer theory. An advanced AI with one primary objective will stop at nothing to obtain that objective. If that means enslaving the planet to make more paper clips, so be it. Half of America talks shit about the AI being weak and how it's going to hell. Everyone else makes memes. Nothing is accomplished and mankind is dumber for having participated. A small handful of people quietly understand the significance of the event and shed silent tears at our fate. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe to Master Reddit right now by clicking the subscribe button below this video.